Yo what's going on guys Tanmay for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under operations research and this is an introductory video to another sub topic under operations research that is network analysis network diagrams and the different project management tools and techniques that we are going to be using that is pert and cpm so this is going to be a very introductory video because this is a very first video under network analysis and pert and cpm under operations research so we are just going to be taking a look at what exactly is network analysis what does it help us achieve and how do you implement network analysis in project management so we'll first take a look at the theory aspect and we'll surely take a example at the end of this video so make sure you watch this video till the end because we're going to be drawing a network diagram a very basic network diagram so you'll understand both the theory as well as the practical implementation of what is network analysis so starting off with network analysis a little bit of introduction so basically network analysis is the general name given to certain specific techniques which can be used for planning management and control of projects so after reading this the first question should be in your mind that what exactly is a project okay so project can be anything like a construction project like a software development project like a new vaccine creation project so anything that is unique in nature that you're trying to do for the first time or there are a lot of things which are going to happen for the first time can be considered as a project okay so there is a difference between project versus product okay so you need to understand that a project is different and product is different so to understand that let's take an example of a car manufacturing company so you have a car manufacturing company wherein you already have three different models of cars which you are already mass producing so those come under the product category okay now let's say you want to introduce a new model so in that case when you first try to make that model that becomes a project okay so whenever you are trying to make a new thing so a new model will come under a project because this would be the first time that you're going to be making this new model so it will be under a concept model right so it's not going to be going under mass production because you still don't know how much time will it take how much resources will it take how much manpower will it take and a lot of things that goes into making this car you're still not very sure about right so you're going to be making certain approximations so that's why that is coming under project so taking a basic definition of a project a project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service so this applies to any software also in software development so you have network analysis project management for software development also and you also have this topic under software engineering so it's not just under operations research this network analysis topic is pretty much widely used in a lot of different domains so it can be applicable to any kind of scenario wherein you're going to make something new so let's say you're developing a new vaccine for a particular disease so in that case also you're going to be doing a lot of things which you are going to be doing for the first time right so you're not very sure so this definition of project highlights some essential features and the features are it is temporary so once you're done with the project once you have finalized this new model it becomes a product when you start off mass production right so in that case you already know that okay it's going to take 5 days to make this car it's going to take like $10000 to make that car it's going it's going to take like 100 people to make that car so once you are sure about that you put it under mass production and then it becomes a product So when it is a project it is unique in some way because a lot of things that you're going to be doing are going to be for the first time and typically all projects can be broken down into some separate activities and tasks wherein each activity has an associated duration or completion time and it will also have its cost and efforts kind of criteria it will have precedence relationship which means that there would be a set of activities which will be done in a particular order right so this governs the order in which the activities are performed example in a project concerned with building a house activity you first need to erect all the four walls before you actually put on the roof right so there has to be a particular order of activities 1 2 3 and when you follow this order only then you can achieve your proper result you cannot directly jump to activity number 3 before you actually complete 2 or 1 right so there is a dependency criteria so again taking the same example of car manufacturing company until and unless you put all the parts together of the car you cannot actually go ahead and paint it right that is at least you need to have the body of the car ready first so that comes number 1 that is make body of the car first and then you can go to painting the car right so this is what i'm talking about now when it comes to network analysis we can use two different techniques so there is pert and there is cpm pert stands for program or project evaluation and review technique and cpm is critical path management we will talk about this in detail in further videos and we will also see numericals based on these different techniques but right now i don't want to get into a lot of details of this right now we just want to understand what is network analysis and what exactly is a network diagram so we'll see an example in a minute so essentially what network analysis enables us 
to do is it enables us to take a systematic quantitative structured approach. So there are a lot of jargons, but things would be very clear when you see a numerical and this approach helps us to solve the problem of managing a project through successful completion. So when you perform network analysis properly, it helps us solve and achieve certain tasks. So for example, it will solve the question of how long will it take to complete a project? What are the activities that must be finished before the activity can start? So you know in which order to go. What is the minimum possible time in which we can complete the project? What is the maximum possible time that can go if there is certain delay that happens? What is the estimated cost and efforts that require to complete the project? And all this will result in optimization of the total time, cost and resources. So this is what network analysis helps us achieve. Now this all sounds very theoretical and since this is the first introductory video, we have to go through these definitions. But now let's take an actual example and let's see how a network diagram would actually look like when you actually want to solve numericals based on this. So right now we've been given a question, draw a network for the project of construction of steel works for a shed. The various activities are given as follows. So we have to construct a shed and there are certain activities which are involved. So we have activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and K. And we have the description of each activity. So A means build site workshop, B means fence the site, C means bend the reinforcements, D means dig foundation and so on and so forth. And the third column is precedence. So this precedence means which activity is dependent on what activity. So you can see for the first two activities A and B, A and B do not depend on any other activity which means they can start off immediately. But you can see for the C activity, the precedence activity is A which means C cannot start before A is finished. Okay. So this is what this precedence means. So just before this numerical in the theory we saw that whenever we take on a project we have to have a set of activities which are in a proper chronological order, right? So you cannot jump to third activity before completing one and two. So that is what this precedence is all about. So let's try to actually visualize this entire numerical in the form of a network diagram. And I know we've not talked about network diagram in detail. We'll do that in the next video when you actually just take a numerical. But right now I just want to show you how visually a network diagram would look like. So we have something which is known as an event, which is represented as a circle. So this is an event or a node right now. Just watch this video. You don't have to actually draw it along with me because we're just trying to understand how visually this entire numerical would look like. And the activity is denoted by an arrow. Okay. So we have our first activity A. So I'm going to say, so from the first event or node, we are performing A and then we will be reaching to another node or another event. You can also consider this as a state. So when you perform build site workshop, you basically transition from one state to another state or first level to second level. So one thing is done, right? So that's why one event has occurred or one event has completed and you are transitioning from first node to the second node by this activity. Similarly, you can see that we also have another activity B, which is fence site and there is no precedence activity, which means that A and B can simultaneously start off because they are not dependent on any other previous activity. So we can start off B also simultaneously and this will result in another node or another event. Moving on to C. So we have C, which is bend reinforcements, but C can only occur after A. So you can see that this is the direction in which A is happening. And so we are at this point. So after this, if you want to have C, so we can proceed from over here, reach another node and name this as C. Okay. So we are done with A, we are done with B, we are done with this one. And now we are on to this D. So you can see D is dig foundation and it happens after B. Okay. So once B is done, we are at this node or this event. So we move ahead. We say it is D and we are at this location. Now, if you're drawing this diagram, I would recommend that you draw with a pencil because there is a correction which is going to happen soon and you'll find it out in a minute. So we are done with D now. So we are at E. So E is fabricate steel works. So it happens after A itself. So when A activity happens, we are, we come at this node. So we can start off E activity right after A activity is done. So we can start off that activity from over here and this is going to be E and then you reach another level, another node, another event. Then we have F which is install concrete pillars, which is preceded by B. So when B is completed, we can start off with F. So I'm just going to write D over here and start off with F and we are going to reach another event or node. Now when you come at G, so we are done with E and F also. So we are at G now. So when you look at G, G can happen only after C and D. So you can see we have C activity over here and D activity over here. 
but G can happen only if both of them have happened, right? So this is where the correction is happening. We can connect two activities together to one node and that's why I'm just going to erase this off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to this node and name it D again. So essentially what happens is when C and D both complete, we come at this node or come at this event. And this is the requirement for G happening, right? G can happen only when C and D are happened together. So now I can say G and this will go to a new node. Now moving on to H again, you can see H can happen only after G and F have happened. So I can connect G and F to one single node, right? So I can erase this off and connect F to this node. So now you can see G and F when complete, you achieve this node or you come at this event after which you can have H. So this is going to be H and now we have one more node. Then we move on to the next one. We have I which is build steel work which happens after E. So pretty simple after E activity, we come at this node. So after this, we can do I. But now when you see J, you can see J can happen only after H and I. So we have H activity over here which is resulting in this event. We have I activity which is resulting in this event. So we can combine them both. So I can just erase this again, combine this to this, name it as I and after I and H have completed, we reach this node, right? So after this, I can say J has happened. And then lastly, we have K which happens after J has happened. So I'll just write it over here, which is K. And this is the last node. So this is basically how a network diagram would look like. And I know we've not talked about all these activities. We've not talked about what are events. We've not talked about predecessors, successors, and we'll talk about this in detail in the next video when we actually just take a numerical and before taking numerical, we'll see some important points about network diagrams, some important errors that we can make and we'll see the terminologies also. But this is basically how you can represent a numerical on network analysis into a network diagram. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. I just wanted to talk about some basics about network analysis. That is the theory part. What is exactly a project? What is the definition of a project and how a project is different from a product? What does a project have that is separate activities and some pre precedence relationships? And then two different techniques of network analysis that is port and CPM. And lastly, we also saw an example of a complete construction project which was depicted in activities and its precedence. And then we converted that numerical into a network diagram. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed on this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video on this topic or many other topics that I talk about on this channel. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.